Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the Daily Night. I am your host, Brian Smith, and my co-host over here, Mr. Andrew Johnson. We have the second part of the Louisville diatribe, if you will, because we both agree that beating them in game we expect to be number two is paramount for UCF to have a very good 2022 season. Yesterday, we previewed the offense. Today, a little bit about the defense, although we don't think it's going to be as important because as the stats shall show, Mr. Johnson, they're not very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Why don't you read off just like yeah. some of the numbers on the total oh, defense and all that stuff. Just really quick, before we throw out stats, let's just talk. We'll talk a little bit about the game from last season, but uh, they're losing and they're losing a couple key guys. They're losing yes, they their are. top yeah. uh, number one and number two top tacklers on the team. They're losing CJ Avery decorated Louisville linebacker and they're losing uh, another guy, Jake Faggett. They're losing a lot of guys. So we'll talk about that and we'll throw up some of the numbers. So it'll be interesting to talk about their defense today. Yeah. Um, yeah. Total D is 83rd. Rush D is 73rd. Hmm. Passing defense, not getting much better here. 94th. <laughs> Hint, it's terrible. And then scoring defense, 77th by hmm. giving up 27.3 points per game. That's, That's not good. That's yeah. I mean, there, there's no nice way to say it. They they underachieved. Yeah. They underachieved. Yep. And good news for them. I went through some of their transfers, and again, this is early. They could get more, just like UCF or any other school. Yeah. The kid I'm going to put up on the screen is transferring in, and they needed help on the back end as that 94th. Mm. I mean, that's <laughs> that's terrible. This kid will be going into his fourth year of college football. His name is MJ Griffin. I'll share the screen just to show he's transferring in from Temple. You know what? Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't, but he wants a bigger, bigger stage. Okay. In 11 games, he had 65 tackles. He's a pretty good player. Three tackles for yeah. loss, a sack, four PBUs. They needed help. Well, that's decent. That's a decent I mean, guy. that's a kid that could go play. Like he's from Ypsilanti, which is just on the edge of Ann Arbor. I'm yep. surprised that he didn't go and play for Michigan. I'm surprised Harbaugh didn't want him. Wow, local guy. I mean, he he's like him. literally 20 minutes from Michigan's yeah. campus. Top. They missed out. They missed out on him. Yep. So, whatever. Their loss is Louisville's gain, and he's a 200-pound safety. Those guys are valuable. No. So, I just wanted to mention him. And they um, need him because they, really, they need him. They're losing like three defensive backs. And two other guys were like, and they weren't even any good. So, I mean, and how are you going to replace those guys? They were a young team, too. We can pull up, you know, some of the young team. But, like, here, this this is just not good. Um, I'll pull up for your entertainment, just like what you were talking about in regards to the players they had that made tackles. I mean, they, their top guys are gone and they weren't good. So, I, it, like, the game in, in, the bounce house could be a 42-38 game. Wouldn't shock me because Cunningham and those guys are going to score some points. A shootout game. Sort but, of like that. But at the same time, based on what I'm seeing here and what you already mentioned, yeah, it's not good for the situation in regards to their they're, tackles and all that. Thin. Because they're in a lot of positions. Yeah, like here, C.J. Avery is gone. gone. And Cole is Cole, gone. gone. He's gone. So unless – I don't know how they're doing the COVID year whatever – I'm assuming they are, but right. even if they're not, they were terrible. So how many of these guys are going to step up? Yeah, I think uh, Yasir Abdullah, he's a good pass rusher. He'll be returning. He's a good player. He's a good yeah. player. Yeah. They got God, a he's a pretty good player, but, you know. They got uh, Cottrell Clark. That's their best defender. He'll be returning. He had uh, three, three interceptions and 40 total tackles last season. And if you're a DB, Jones, if you've got multiple picks and 40-plus tackles, He's, so, he's a solid. That's their best defender. Control Absolutely. So, yeah, he's a solid Absolutely. Player. The and only Chandler other Jones, so really quick. Chandler Jones is on the other side. He's right under yeah. him. The yeah. only real question I have with them, so it helps the DBs. They got to get somebody that's an interior presence mm. to slow down the run, so their DBs have more chances at passes. Because if it's second mm -hmm. down and four, it doesn't. You, you have no chance as a defense. You have none. And have they're no lacking chance. that nose tackle. They're lacking that nose tackle right now. The dudes that play at a high level on the interior are always coveted. There's no reason that Louisville can't get one of them. Yeah. I, and I mean a dude, not just he's big, a dude. UCF just got their guy, Lee Hunter, 
And ironically, he's going to be playing next to a guy that's from a public school in Louisville, which is Mm. hilarious. (laughs) It's the kid that got transferred in last year. Both of UCF's D tackles, in my opinion, for the starting lineup next year are transfer kids. One's from Louisville. Ricky, you know, Rick, you're not going to get guys like that every year at UCF, but they they're loaded. I'm curious to see if Louisville can get somebody to kind of match that. And just to keep on, you made those guys can affect the passing game, so they can help out the secondary, oh, yeah. even though they're thin in the secondary. So you need that pass rusher or that defensive tackle that can bring in that double team. Oh yeah, then your linebackers can go nuts too. The other kid that's interesting for them, and he's a Florida kid, he's from the greater Palm Beach area, is Ashton Gillette. I don't mm. know if that's how you pronounce it. Jalot, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But as a freshman, he was a pretty good player. He had yeah. some pass rushing situations that worked out well for him. He was 13th in tackles. But if you look at him overall, eight tackles for loss and four sacks. That's pretty nice. Yeah, as a freshman. If you give him a second year and he takes this offseason mm. seriously, that's probably the guy that UCF's going to have to, you know, quote unquote, scheme against. He's listed right. at 260 here. He'll be 280 next year. You know, that's just how that works. So that'll probably be their guy, most likely. Can he hold up and all that? But UCF's going to probably play them game two, the 10th of September, so you would think so. Um, The only other point that I personally want to make is, we will. and this is not anything to do with Louisville, will UCF by that point, when they're playing against this kid and the other guys, will they have a definitive number one quarterback because that's mm. only going to be game two game one we I, I will be shocked if at least two quarterbacks do not play for ucf shocked they're going to rotate and you know gus likes to rotate i don't disagree 100 100 agree with you yeah i still say until otherwise proven mikey Keene will be the quarterback mm. who's the other guy rotate i have zero idea it could and, be john and, reese it could be yeah. Castellan. I, we don't know. And, and just and your point is going to lead into my point really quick, because just for the viewers, the people that's watching, can we pull up the stats of that la- the game last season? Oh, the way, You know, Jalen Robinson and Ryan O'Keefe had a good game, but it was Dylan Gabriel was very he was oh. key to that game. Was you key know what? It was key it's 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 sad because if UCF would have kept even half the guys that got hurt in that game, they'd have won the game. Oh, man. Oh, they would have won that game. And it would have yeah. been key to keep that momentum rolling. They would have been 4-0. Or three and zero at the time, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I re- I went and rewatched that game, man. That was actually a really exciting game. And it was a big finish with the inter- pick six to lose the game. That was crazy. Yeah, here we go. All right, that's the generic overview, yeah. and I can pull up uh, a little better here. Just give some numbers, like you said, O'Keefe and yeah. everybody. I mean, they had they had good guys. Look good at Johnny. Plays. Johnny had a good game too. Wow. Johnny had so that, I mean, that Russian defense is oh yeah. Louisville's look at this. The top three running backs for UCF all over six yards to carry. Louisville's defense is not good. <laughs> it's just not. It's just not. O'Keefe had those stats with hmm. half the game, if not more, with Jalen on the sidelines and him getting all the attention. If you put Jalen and against. him on, yeah. If you put them both on the field at the same time, fortune. Good luck. So you're right. This is this is a big deal. UCF is a team that can score a lot of points. If they don't score over 30 against them next year, with the guys that are losing, they got and a new the guys that UCF there. has coming. Plus, they got Hudson coming in they from are. Auburn. You know, they we know that UCF fast offense is back, and that's what some of the people in the comments are talking about that they like, and they'll be ready to see. So I'm excited to see how they'll face off against a Louisville team that's missing guys. They should already be motivated from last year. Absolutely. If you look at Amari Johnson as a guy that's probably not even going to start, mm-hmm. and he's a blazer, he's a guy that can just get a couple of catches or revert. They can rotate guys. Now, UCF has more depth. They've got guys coming in like Tyler Griffin. UCF is going to be fine at receiver. Yes, sir. And based on what you were talking about with Louisville secondary, these numbers can change pretty quick. Yeah. Now, to that end – Losing the guy there at the top at the end was was hard, mm. but now Mikey came from that situation. point. Yeah, yeah. He, Mikey's now started ten games because that mm. was the last game that Dylan played. So it, it's unfortunate that he got hurt, but it is what it is. College football moves forward with or without you. So um, we just kind of wanted to do a short overview with Louisville. 
we we are convinced that if UCF wins this game, it will propel them. Yes, sir. And if you go back and watch that game from last year, you'll you'll definitely understand why. They should have won. I mean, yeah. they just flat should have won. And they lost a lot know. of guys. It just seemed like it just, just Yeah, down. I mean, you can't lose Ricky Barber. You, you know, yeah, Tatum was out part of the game. Isaiah, Jalen, Corey right. Thornton. It, it was insane. If this game is a normal circumstance, well, I think Louisville, like I said yesterday, would be like a three- to five-point favorite. They're the yeah. FBS team. It's probably a little hyped. But their defense is so bad, I think it's more like a pick em kind of game. Yeah. Because I just don't trust their defense yeah. at all. They'll be a favor because they got a dark horse Heisman at Malik. Cunningham's a special talent, no yeah. question, but he's not making any tackles. No, <laughs> or, or or if he is, it's because he threw a pick. Yeah, he so, can't help that. He can't help that pass D ninety fourth. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, I mean UCF's not unbelievable on defense, but theirs is better than Louisville. So I'll be curious to see it. But more uh, depth as well. Absolutely. Well, anyway, everybody have a great day. Thank you very much, and uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're going to be doing some more of these previews and stuff. And we got National Signing Day coming up. So Andrew and I will be back very soon. Thank you much and have a wonderful afternoon.